Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And if you are an old school Hearthstone player, you might recall the good old days of like your wallet warriors, your control warriors, just playing a Justicar true art, gaining a bunch of armor, outlasting your opponent, and maybe getting some good damage in there with a Grom, pushing like 12 damage for some final lethals. And yeah, control has been around since day one. It has seen many different styles throughout the game of Hearthstone. But right now, not since like United and Stormwind has it felt like there's been less and less of it to the point now that yeah, control kind of absent from the metagame. And I want to go over why it keeps seem to be happening because we do have control come back, but it seems to get deleted often. And I even think it's usually justified, but it's just the way the game has evolved that it's really hard for control to be much of a thing. And if you enjoy the content on the channel, feel like I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like, it helps out a ton as we're on the road to 85,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I've been subbing like crazy lately, so thank you. So yeah, I'm just looking like an old school control warrior, pretty cool, but I tweeted this out today or yesterday, whatever day this lands on, I don't know, that I said I hope the next expansion, we get some incredible late game win conditions slash value generators that are worth playing. It doesn't feel like there's a ton to do right now if you want to play a powerful late game strategy. And there's some likes to this, but I wanted to note a comment from this that I think is really important uh, from Simi here saying, bruh, we just had months of high lander warrior. And that's kind of the problem, isn't it, right? Uh, kind of the problem of what like the control issue is right now. But before we get into exactly what I mean by that is if you look at the Hearthstone meta right now on HS Replay, you look at all the best decks sorting through Legend, it's pretty hard to find a controlling strategy. And by control, at least my definition of control is either winning by outvaluing your opponent, out resourcing your opponent, or beating them in fatigue, which is just never a thing anymore. So it's basically, I, I wanna outvalue or outlast them. It's not about killing them with 30 damage in one turn. It it's about outlasting them, not OTK, not necessarily having a giant minion board. It's a resource battle and it just doesn't really happen these days. So looking at the best decks out there, uh, we had our video yesterday with most of these decks, but like hand buff paladin, it's like a kind of like a mid range, almost combo deck, right? Where it could deal like, you know, 30 damage in one turn with chargers. Insanity Warlock kind of more like starts like an aggro deck and then goes into like a combo deck. It could deal 30 damage in one turn. Dragon Druid, which is like the ramp Druid, just, you know, scams you with like playing insane late game really fast and locking everybody out. Maybe I was controlled that way, I guess, but not really so much about resources, just just overwhelming you and all that. Uh, Pain Warlock is like a pretty aggressive deck. It doesn't have a ton of late game in terms of that. It's just scamming early stats and Symphony of Sins. Zarimi Priest is like a mid-range deck that can almost turn into a combo deck with that extra turn. Corpsicle Death Knight, the deck we've highlighted already, the rainbow thing, has like infinite damage almost with Corpsicle. Like Rainbow's now transitioned where it's not really a control deck anymore. It's just a mid-range deck, which is fine. I enjoy mid-range decks. I love this deck. It's my favorite in the meta right now, but it's definitely not uh, control. Evolve Shaman, more of a mid-range scan deck. Pirate Shaman, aggro, mid-range, whatever you want to call it. Highlander Druid, again, more of like that mid-range style of scam deck. Pirate Demon Hunter, you got some aggro, concierge's combo. Plague Death Fight is like a more of a mid-range deck that kind of destroys any control deck if they want to play, because you shuffle infinite plagues. More on that later. Uh, Flood Paladin is aggro, Rainbow Death Fight. Again, more of a mid-range deck. Rainbow Shaman, more mid-range. Highlander Shaman is like the first maybe control, but again, kind of just plays like a mid-range deck. You, you see there's no like actual like control strategies here like your normal you know either value attrition whatever kind of control decks they're just not around the closest we have had to that lately virus control warrior where you just infinite zilliac spam which everybody hated including most control players i feel like because it just is like super unfun to res that over and over and i i struggle to call that control by the way but i'm gonna go with it and highlander warrior right which has been nerfed 
countless times when that's what I want to talk about in a second. So we have like all the controlish decks like Highlander Priest. They're all terrible. They're all at the bottom awful. Most have been nerfed like once, twice, maybe more than that. And No Hands Gamer, who did really like the Zilliax Control Warrior, so he did like it, uh, did say, it appears that Hearthstone has variety right now, but every deck is following a similar pattern. Efficient, but not all in early aggro. So whenever I say like those aggro slash mid ranges decks, it's like that, right? Early game that's really good, and then you can just transition into like basically infinite resources, board fill, damage, possible OTKs, some sort of free minion spike. So again, some of these decks do both of that, but right now that's like your Razzle Dazzlers that's like flooding the board with Sea Giants and Zilliax, a lot of that, or massive damage from a hand. So the OTK decks or those hand buff paladins that can turn their free minion spike into just kill you, right? And you don't really notice what he's saying, but I like to play value decks but they all get nerfed into oblivion. And this is kind of where the problem begins because now that every aggro deck, every mid-range deck have like basically infinite value, infinite damage, infinite resources, like take a look at hell yeah. No requirement, it's a card that shuffles infinite plagues into your deck. If you wanna to play to that late game, you're gonna to die to that. It, it, it doesn't really work so well. There's just so many ways to auto beat an, a, a control deck, whether OTKs, combos, or just throwing in like one or two specific cards that lock things out. Another example is like Marin the Manager. It's like a win con. It's an extra deck in itself. Remember we used to play like Elise to shuffle in a map and that would shuffle in a monkey. And then you would play that monkey and get all those random legendaries for value and that's how control could win like way back in the day. They, you just get that from Marin the Manager right off the gate. Boom, you can just change your hand into legendaries. You can do whatever you want, right? Like that's the way Hearthstone is right now. So how do we make control strategies work in this economy where we just give everything to every class all the time, infinite card draw value. We have to make cards that people hate. You gotta make it so that, okay, you wanna win the value and attrition game. You gotta play a card like Boom Boss Thogren and literally delete people's cards. Is there anything more frustrating? I mean, remember Ticketus, how hated that was? It was never super competitive, but people wanted that nerfed. Well, we want control to thrive right now we need a Boom Boss Thogren, and that card got nerfed. And how do you want Control again to try and survive? Bran, double battle cries. But we just saw last year how good Bran was just as a one-time three mana card. They made this permanent with six mana. It got nerfed as well. Again, something that allowed Control to exist. Inventor Boom, and also the Hydration Station, more recent examples. And of course, the uh, guy who's probably in the thumbnail, Reno got reworked and nerfed. He went from eight to nine, then 10. Had the text reworked, so it's based on starting deck, and Reno decks are basically unplayable because, again, this would allow some more controlling strategies to work, but at what cost? Completely poofs your board, everything you've worked for, it locks you out from the game for a turn, and most decks just auto loss do that. These are the power level, these are the things that are now required if you want controlling strategies to work at Hearthstone. Because again, if you look through like the best decks yesterday, how does a control strategy try and compete against, well, first having your mana stolen, having 13, 16 damage per draw gem tosser. Again, that alternate win condition of just Marin being a busted cart, by the way, signature, amazing. But every deck you go through, it's just incredible how you would ever try and compete. Like again, the concierge druid dealing like 30, 40 damage in one turn before you can even get to like six, seven mana, right? Like how am I gonna win the late game out value that when I blow up and all these incredible decks that just seemingly have endless resources, card draw, damage, value, board scams, just can't compete like it used to other than having these over the top ridiculous strategies that we have seen in particular with Warrior with a card that is just not fun, right? This card makes you frustrated. So if the control deck is ever good enough, it has to be propped up by a card that's really unfun and unfair to feel like, and it just, it's gonna create complaints. And even if it's not the best deck, I mean, is there more proof than Reno himself, right? When he got nerfed, when he got nerfed from Dying to 10, he was in like one tier two deck and basically that. I think it was just Warrior where it was like any like playable level, not even top tier, and everybody seemed to want to get it nerfed because it's just the worst experience 
to face. And it's not like the old control where they just, you know, wore you down, outvalued you. No, you just don't get to play the game anymore. That That's kind of the way it is because that's just the power level we need to compete with this. So control, yeah, in Hearthstone, it's really rough. And I feel like every time control becomes playable at any higher of a level, it's got to get propped up by something like this. And that's really bad. That's really not good for uh, the state of the game in that regard. Every other archetype seems to be doing all right. I'm still enjoying myself at Hearthstone. I'm someone who can play a myriad of things. Like I said, I'm really enjoying giving the old razzle dazzle, but it does make me sad that traditional control decks for quite some time now have felt pretty darn bad and whenever they do feel playable then it feels even worse because it's like the worst thing ever to face and i really don't know how you get out of this situation if you're blizzard other than changing the way design philosophy is or just say that every mid-range deck like this is just that's your control decks now you're controlling the board with your rights of despair and when it you know turn six that's the control strat now right I don't know. I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about it because yeah, traditional control, definitely not a thing in standard these days it feels like. And whenever it is, again, it gets nerfed and wild. Well, you can't even attempt to do that when you have quest slides and turn one duels and all that. It's a rough, rough time for you traditional control players. Anyways, let me know what you think about it all in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.